Hey, what's up, guys? So, I wanted to do a little discussion slash rant about SM Entertainment's new boy group XOK and XOM. Now, if you were good little followers and cult followers, then you saw my rant about SM Entertainment and how, like, annoyed I am with them. And, um, I must say, I'm, I'm s still annoyed, but now I'm confused? Okay. So, um, and if you're following me on my Facebook, then you probably know that I'm confused about their whole, I don't know, existence, I, I guess. Um, so I wanted to split this into two parts, um, in a way. Hopefully it's it's not too long of a discussion slash rant. Um, recently, XOK and XOM they released a music video or prologue called "What Is Love" on YouTube, and I watched both versions several times. Maybe not several times, a few times because I was just that confused about both of them. I I don't know. So, um, I'll elaborate on my confusion in, in a bit. Um, first of all, I want to start with the first part of what I want to talk about is the actual music video. So, visually, just overall, I thought it looked really pretty. You know, they're just good uh, tones, color tones, nice lighting. Is a different uh, atmosphere than the usual empty room luminescent lights like Super Junior and SNSD or this whole I don't know CG background whatever crap. This this actually felt tangible and real and I I liked I liked it, but I also don't like that. Okay. Um, I'm following this, uh, I, I'm following, I added a new link on the blog to this site called Soul Beats that talks about K-pop, and one of the writers was saying that both of the videos are the same, and this is one reason why I, I mean, before I read this, um, I watched both videos a lot because I was like, wait, the scene was not in the Korean version, so... Um, I mean, I'll probably ex expand on this on why with my confusion with the marketing. Um, Chinese, the Chinese and Korean versions are different. If you really pay attention, it is different. If you watch them at the same time, or because uh, what I did was I was watching one and then I would pause it at a certain mark where I thought it was different and then I would go back to the other page and go at that same time mark and there's a totally different scene. So sure I think they used less teaser footage in the Korean version than the Chinese version which kind of made me a bit upset. I mean if I was really invested into this whole nonsense of hype with the, with the group then I guess I would be even I would be pissed off about it but I'm not I'm just kind of disappointed like oh well you didn't really try that hard now did you granted I know that teasers a lot of teasers are actual you know teasers like previews and movies they're just snippets of the actual music video but I don't know. I guess I just expected something different in a way. I don't know. It just seemed more lazy in the Chinese version than the Korean because it's like we can't use. They didn't use the exact same video. It's different. Um. Overall, I thought it looked nice. I mean, I guess the shots and stuff. Um. As far as their image, the group's image, I thought it was different, nicely, um, kind of reminded me of, like, shiny leftovers. <laughs> I don't know, with, like, a hint of 
TBS gate. I don't know. It it was okay. It, it worked for them, I guess. But those haircuts got to go. They they looked like DBSK reject haircuts. I'm sorry. Um, their voices, the the way they, their yeah, the vocals. They they've got voices. At least the four people that actually sung. So now that's if you watch both videos, because only two out of the twelve or however many are in that group sung. Everyone else just was there. They didn't do anything. It was no dancing or nothing. They, they just existed. So yeah, the voices were good, but there was no emotion. And I was really glad to see disappointed comments in on the YouTube pages of SM Entertainment of where the videos were posted where people are saying, well, the, the song was okay, even though it reminded me of XYZ SM Band, and their voices are really nice, and they're really good looking, but my main problem is, is they lack emotion, and I'm glad other people saw that they were pretty much Hung Seung in his Big Bang days. I mean, he still has a little problem showing emotion in his face. I mean, they just, they, they sung, they, I mean, but there was nothing. <laughs> um, the song was pretty much, it's kind of hard not to compare it to another group. I mean, I tried really hard to get it out of my mind, but that was like my first reaction, and it seemed like it was everyone else's first reaction that, Oh, this is SM the Ballads, which I've never listened to, or this is just like this Super Junior song or something. Or I'm with those people that thought it sounded like DBSK's Before You Go, pretty much. And that's what it sounded like, just the reminiscence leftovers of Before You Go. And I kind of sort of didn't really like that song that much. Um, actually, I mean, Okay, I like Before You Go and What Is Love, I guess, because it has a nice, familiar R&B sound to it, but for the longest time I could not watch the Before You- no, I still can't watch the Before You Go video. I can watch the dance version, but I cannot watch the actual drama video because I just feel so awkward watching it and listening to just the music, not paying attention to the lyrics. And when I read the lyrics, translated lyrics, it just seemed so awkward for me because the music is the same as Chris Brown's Take You Down. So I'm used to like people grinding on each other and I'm being all romantic and sad. Uh, this is weird. So I don't know. I guess the song's okay if like I block out those other songs, but other than that, I mean, select your emotion, I mean, emotion's important when you, you sing it. I mean, it makes you more attached to the song. Like, I know there is a song called Props In My Life, I think, by Rain. It's a Japanese song, and I don't know what it is in English, like the lyrics, but it has lots of emotion in it, and it actually kind of makes me feel a little sad and, like, inspired. So, if a song can, um, uh, provoke some sort of emotion in you, and you don't even know what it means in English, then the song is doing its job. The song did, did not. It just provoked the thought of, you know, these, these boys have really nice voices. Now that's it. So, the marketing thing, which is what I'm really confused about. Um, if you, like I said, if you saw the rant about what I have, my, my beef with SM, is their, I guess, the whole teasers. That bothered me, and I think some people were frustrated by it. Either they were frustrated because it was just too much, or they were frustrated because they were really anxious and really excited to see what the group was like. 
And I guess for me, it was more like, okay, enough of the teasers, really. Just, just give me this, the whatever. Just bring them out. I mean, you didn't, from what I've read, they didn't do this with any other group in their label. So, I, I can understand people's frustrations in that sense, but I thought it was too much, especially because these teasers mostly featured Kai, and it did not introduce any of the other members, and apparently there was 12 of them all together, which I think is just way too much. And then when the video came out, which all SM cult followers, whatever, not my cult followers, SM's crazy fangirls and boys, saying, oh no, this isn't a music video, this isn't their debut, it's just their prologue. I'm like, what the hell? Okay, music, there's no prologue in music, okay? I mean, prologues exist in books, okay? They're, they're, you don't have a prologue music video. Who, who made that up? I mean, SM did it, who cares? Okay, they can't change rules. It just doesn't make sense to have a prologue video because people are not going to view it as a prologue. They're going to view it as a debut. I mean, that's what's been programmed in their mind from watching K-pop videos for however many months, years, whatever. And, or just watching videos in general. It's like, oh, this is the, their debut, so... This is the first music video, so this has to be their debut, not a prologue. But I mean, I guess you can you can enforce it as a prologue because there's only two people singing and everybody else is just emotionless, whatever, doing whatever, stuck in a hole, looking at cars. I don't I don't know. Um, I just don't get the the prologue stuff. I mean, I guess the only way you can have a prologue in music is like on an album, but even then, I mean, you have to be really good, an actual artist to have a prologue in your music video, not in your music video, um, in your album <laughs> music video. Um, then there's the whole what I was saying, that there were differences between the two music videos for XOM and K. It felt like XOM got, I don't know, they got chipped. Like, there was just less care in the editing, because like I said, there was like a lot more teasers in it than actual new stuff, like in the K. Like, there was, in the XOK music video, there is a split shot of two of the guys dancing the same dance but they're in two different scenes two different outfits and it looked really cool that was actually one of my favorite scenes and in M it was just a plethora of collage of teasers from before and it just doesn't flow very well with the rest of the music video which was saddening because my, if I had to pick a favorite member from this whole EXO nonsense, it's from M, and that is Chin. So go Team Chin! Anyway, um, I don't think that EXO M is gonna get treated very well. I mean, I don't even know how Super Junior M gets treated, but it doesn't seem like they do much. Maybe that's because, maybe it seems like they don't do much because I don't really follow them very closely, so, I don't know, I, I think XOM is probably a waste of money, and they're, they're trying to just, I don't know, they're trying to reach out and get those fans that just don't care, but I'm sure there are fans that are smart and will realize that they're not being treated as equally as the other, and I think that the company should treat them equally. I mean, if you're really serious about music, you would treat them equally. But SM is just money hungry, and so they don't have to care, I guess. So, anyway, that's my thoughts about the EXO's prologue, whatever. Um, please leave your comments below and tell me what you think about their prologue 
and I'll make another video. Peace, guys.